Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to jump into DaVinci Resolve quickly and take a look at rendering out alphas or rendering out, rendering out transparent backgrounds in Fusion. I've noticed a lot of comments coming up on the channel about that sort of stuff and so I thought I'd show you how to do it inside of DaVinci Resolve. And so this is going to be good for things like if you maybe you're doing like a social media lower third or a title and you just want to render out a video file that has a transparent background so you can just slap it on the top of any other project you're working on and not have this black background there. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at how to do that. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a new Fusion composition, don't matter what we call it, and we're gonna double click on that so that we open it up into Fusion. Cool, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck a black background down, connect it down to MIDI out so we can see it there, and we're gonna just also chuck a text node in the foreground there, and we're just gonna call it Alpha Test. All right, and we'll just change the color of it. So we're not gonna do any animating, but let's assume there's some animation on this particular composition, something a bit better than what it is. So currently with the black background, it's not transparent. And the transparency infusion is symbolized by that sort of gray checker box pattern. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our background node and over here in the inspector, we can just see our alpha channel is currently set to one. If we drag that to zero, now we have transparency and everything in this gray checker box pattern is transparent. So only the text is visible. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go on over to the edit page. We're going to drag our fusion comp down so that we have it there and just drag it over here. So now we have our fusion composition and you can see we do have a black background, but it is technically transparent as visible here in the fusion tab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to the Deliver tab. All right, and this is where we can control rendering out transparency. So under the Custom tab, let's just quickly name it whatever we want. So we're gonna call it the Alpha Test. I'm gonna browse, chuck that somewhere. I'm just gonna chuck it on the desktop today. No, nowhere, I don't really care too much. And the next thing you wanna do is change it from rendering single clip to individual clips. And what that's going to do is if you have different cuts throughout your timeline, it's going to render each individual section out as an individual file. Now, because we're rendering out just a Fusion composition, it doesn't really matter because it's the only file we have, but that's what we need. And you need to make sure that you check individual clips. Otherwise, the rest of it won't work. Boom. All right, nothing's really changed so far. What we want to do now is we want to go down to Export Video. We want to, in Format, we're going to use QuickTime. Under codec, however, we're going to change it from H.264 to DNxHR. All right, and what that allows us to do is gives us this export alpha option here, which we can check. Now, if we use a different codec, so if we just use Apple ProRes, you'll notice that alpha isn't there. Now, there are a few different codecs where you can see it. So I think GoPro Cineform will also, if we change that to 16-bit, will also have alpha, but I find that DNx HR is fine and make sure you check export alpha and we're just going to leave it set to pre-multiplied for now and that's pretty much all we need that's it we're going to add to render queue and over here we've got our video and we're just going to start the render and render it out and boom super quick all right so what we're going to do head on over to our edit page let's just get rid of this for a time being and let's import that file that it just created so here we go alpha test Awesome, we have our footage there. So let's see what that looks like. So we're gonna drag an image down onto our timeline and we're gonna drag the alpha test down over the top. And there you have it. We have our alpha rendered out, nice and simple, really easy to do and it works perfectly. Now, sometimes you might struggle to get it to work the way you want it to. So there was one I was working on. So let's just go to import media and we got this one here, social media one and we're gonna bring that one down and I'm going to delete the alpha test and drag this one down. Now this one, for whatever reason, it's not doing it, okay? We have a black background, we have animation. And that's kind of annoying, all right? We've done the exact same process for this particular one as we did for the alpha test and it didn't work. 
I'm not sure if it's a bug or if there's just certain things that went wrong, but anyway, if you find that this does happen to you, there's a really easy way to fix it. So what we're gonna do is you drag your video clip down and we're gonna head on over to the color tab. And over here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click in our node section and we're gonna go add alpha output, okay? And then just drag the blue square to the blue circle. And now we're gonna head on over to our qualifier, which is this little eyedropper here. And we're gonna drop and color pick the black color. And it's kind of weird. What it's kind of done is the reverse. So it's basically made everything not black transparent. So we just need to flip that around. It's super simple, just this button here. So it's just gonna invert the selection and then we have it here. But if I zoom in, what you're gonna notice is there's, you know, there's a little bit of black here and there and we can just go to the clean black and just drag that up a bit. And you'll notice that that black will disappear like so. And yeah. Now we have our social media banner come in, come out and we got rid of that black background. So again, that may, you might need to do that, um, but hopefully, you know, if you just do follow the steps from the start of this video, you'll be able to get the alpha come up like that. So there you go guys, super easy. Uh, I know a lot of you were asking questions about it, so I figured we'd chuck a quick video up there for you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and yeah, subscribe for more videos like this one. See ya. Thank you.